All right, in this video, I want to talk about the top of the hour pal script. Um, sometimes you may have a show that is two hours long and you don't want the top of the hour pal script to kill that show. The original top of the hour pal script ran constantly every hour at the top of the hour. But as your programming becomes more complex and different shows pre-recorded or even live shows, you don't want that to do kill those shows that go beyond an hour. So you're going to get two more pile scripts. And if you've already downloaded them, just go and re download them. Um, so that we can, so that you can have all three. All right. So I'm gonna bring up the pile script window and I'm going to go and grab the first one. We're going to have one called top of the hour schedule on the hour. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And we got another one that we're going to call top of the hour scheduled five minutes till. And then of course, that's the original top of the hour. All right. The difference between the, these are, these have to be scheduled. Okay. Now the top of the hour schedule on the hour, um, all you have to do with these is first of all, you want to come in and change this category to whatever category you're using for your station IDs, whatever category that is, make a folder just for your station, top of the hour station IDs and rename that in here. And you only need one of these. You don't need to, to run, but only one, but I wanted to show you what you need to do on the inside. Okay. Now you will see in this five minutes till you will see this little time reference here. This has nothing to do with what time is going to run per se. Basically, this is a wait command. We're telling this power script. I know you ran. I know you're running, but I need you to wait until the top of the hour. Okay. So this one is designed to be scheduled five minutes till the hour that you want it to run. And even like now, if I run it, even now it's still going to wait until the top of the hour. Okay. This one, however, whether, whatever, whenever I trigger this one is going to run immediately. And it's going to stop when it's finished. So how do you trigger these to run between hours? Okay. You're going to need the event scheduler. I'm going to move this guy out the way. You want to need the event scheduler, the event scheduler. We'll call it top of the hour. The event schedule allows you to trigger power scripts. So instead of loading a clock wheel or a file to the queue, we're going to execute a power script. And we're going to click on this folder and let's grab this one that says schedule on the hour. Okay. If I'm going to use that power script and let's say every day, Monday through Friday, um, I have a program that runs from 12 noon to three. So I don't want that program to kill that show at one o'clock and at two o'clock, 12 o'clock is fine. So I'm going to schedule this on the hour because that is the one we, we, we chose. Now I'm leery, I'm a little leery of this one because you got a lot of things that's trying to load up on the hour. That's why I made the one that you load up five minutes prior to the hour. But if I had a show that run from 12 to three and I do not want that show interrupted, it's okay to run it at 12. That'll make sure that the show starts on time, but I can't run it at one o'clock. That'll kill the show. I can't run it at two o'clock. That'll kill the show. But at three o'clock, that's fine. So I'm going to schedule this to run at three o'clock. And when I hit OK, that's that's it. Basically, you're scheduling the hour that you want this top of the hour uh, on the hour power script to run. 
If you don't want it to, want it to run at one o'clock, then don't schedule it for one o'clock for that particular day. You are only going to schedule it for the hour that you need it to actually run. And again, this one, the on the hour one is a little tricky. Um, there may be things that may trigger before this guy has a chance to finish. I prefer to use and I am using the five minutes till. The difference with this one is you're going to trigger it five minutes prior to the hour on this one. It's on the hour. We did it right at 12 and at three because we don't want to interrupt the show that's running from 12 to three. So if I was to use that one, I'm going to hit the event. I'm going to say five till the top of the hour. Oops. Okay. Same show Monday through Friday. It's okay to run it at 12. But remember, we're running it five minutes till the hour. So this is actually going to be 11. 55 prior. Okay. And, and it doesn't run again until the show ends at three. So at two 55, 8 PM, it's okay to run. Power script. We're not adding files to a queue. We're going to execute a power script. So let me go over here and grab the five minutes till. What that does is it's going to trigger that power script. When it runs five minutes till it's going to start and then it's just going to stop because it's got to wait until the top of the hour. This allows you more flexibility in your scheduling because now you can use a you can use this top of the hour power script to only run in the hours that you really need it. Therefore, uh, preventing it from killing shows that you need not to be interrupted. I hope this has helped.